Taking pictures of beautiful fall foliage can be overwhelming. How do you tell your audience what you want them to see? Using good composition and interesting lighting help direct the focus of any photograph, but with digital photography, you have the luxury of being able to improve what you captured in the field. We're meeting back at my studio so I can show Angie how to get the most out of her photos by correcting the color and adjusting the sharpness. Was. <laughs> did you get some good pictures after I left? I believe I did, but we'll see. All right, well, I went ahead and downloaded them into the computer. So let's click through and see what you did. Okay. That's a nice one to start with. I like your vantage point there. Interesting perspective. And the color is beautiful. And another interesting perspective. Yeah, yeah it looks like you're lying down on the ground. Just about, <laughs> practically. And that, that's nice. You've got a nice leading line up into the leaves. Yeah. Also another great one, good color and nice diagonal line with the branch too. Yeah. And it was yeah, a great house. A farmhouse. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's very dramatic. It Almost is. abstract. It's nice color too. Okay, nice blue sky. Uh-huh. Uh, let's go back to this one. Okay. I think this would be a great one to work with in this software program, okay? I'll show you how to enhance the color even more. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Come up here to the menu bar and click on File, and we're going to do a Save As. And just save this under a different name. Call it whatever you like, something okay. easy to find. And the reason we do this is because we want to work on the copy and archive the original. That way nothing happens to our original. It's safe. Okay. Okay, and go ahead and click OK. Now we'll work on enhancing the color. Come up here to the menu bar and click on Enhance. And we'll roll down to Adjust Color and then carefully roll over to the right to Color Variations. This gives us a color variations window we can work with. It's great because you see a before and an after, and it gives us all kinds of color down here to work with, and also yeah. the mid-tone, shadows, highlights, saturation. Let's just click on increase red right now. We're in the mid-tones, and already we're getting oh, that looks good. great color. All right, let's click it once more, and maybe work in the shadows also. Click over here on shadows, okay. and we can increase the red, red perhaps again. a little bit more. And let's wow. darken it just a tad. There's so many ways you can play with wow. this. And yeah. it, you know, if you go too far and it looks a little wild, you can matter. always just click the undo button. But I think this looks pretty good right now. I do too. Let's click OK. okay. Well, that looks great. It does. Now you've colored it. Let's try one more thing. Let's sharpen it. Oh, good. OK. What it does is it tricks your eyes into thinking that the image is sharper by just increasing the contrast of the pixels. OK, I'll show oh, you how it's done. Okay. Click up here on Filter uh -huh. and just roll down to Sharpen. And there you go. Just sharpen, sharpen. it once. OK. You ready to print out? I am. OK. If you'd like to learn more about the rules of composition or any of the techniques you saw here today, just log on to our website at DIYNetwork.com. Okay, Angie, do you feel like the lessons today were helpful? Oh, to you? absolutely. Good, because I think you did a great job. Let's look at what you printed out. Ah, oh, that's right. Good. Looks pretty good. I like the abstract feel of this and how you got in really close to the leaves and you really followed the rule of thirds here. So it's not like smack dab right in the middle. The color's fantastic and you enhanced it with the software program. So it's even better. Yeah, the sharpening technique worked real well. That too, yeah. It looks great. You did a wonderful job. Thanks. Keep up the good work. I'll try. And remember, always bring your camera with you because the more pictures you take, the better you get. I hope you'll use what you learned today about color and composition and take your own great photographs. Join me next time on The Whole Picture. Okay, I think we need to work on this one because we can really enhance the color and make a pop.